Hi everyone, so this uh, is the mid-month reading for all Pisces for uh, June 2017. I apologize for being uh, a day late here. <laughs> I had a lot going on. Hopefully it slows down soon. <laughs> uh, hi Petro, hopefully you're doing well. I know, right? I gotta check my email. Pe uh, my friend Petro. It's funny because I was kind of thinking like she's like my Gabrielle. <laughs> If I was Zena, she would be my Gabrielle. You know, Gabrielle is always, like, checking up on Zena, like, getting her out of trouble. And But she knows, like, she knows Zena's is our, is our right, but then she's got to go search for her, you know, to, like, I got a plan, Petro, I got a plan. I'm trying to get things moving here. It's just, I got studying and, you know, like, work and, huh. Oh, it's chaos. Okay, there we go. So Pisces, uh, we got a lot happening right now, um, astro ast like astrological wise, um, to do with Pisces right now. So this is going to be a very important time for you guys. Um, you might uh, you might start noticing things too, also around you if you observe and uh, like this is your energy, so you should be able to tune into it quite well. Uh, uh, to answer, somebody wants to know about my Pisces, where it's at. Um, I have an asteroid. It's called P-A-L-L-A-S, and that's where my Pisces is. Uh, that's the goddess of wisdom, or it's like where that asteroid is where um, the energy that you get your wisdom from. Like, that's what it is. And for me, it's Pisces. That's how I get my wisdom is through Pisces. Uh, a lot of people don't really look a lot into asteroids, but um, they do have great importance uh, in a person's chart. So like if you guys haven't studied that you should look into that. There is a lot of detail uh, It's more of the ancient um, Like a lot of older school astrologers use it which I guess more of like maybe it's one of those more ancient secret type things You know what I mean? Like uh, but I do find a lot of relevance in the asteroids um, They can have strong placement like strong uh, influence in your chart uh, and right now for me, because of where my Pisces sits, uh, I'm getting downloads, like a lot of downloads of information. But all you Pisces out there as well should be getting downloads of information. And the, the trick is, Pisces, is that with this energy right here, it's going to be it's a lot happening with Pisces. Uh, you might want to look into what's happening. It'll go through this week until uh, the following week, I believe. So observe. A lot of people are, are going to be in illusions. Um, they're going to be... You're going to notice people are going to be acting weird. A lot of people aren't going to know what's happening. And Pisces, you're just like, it's like a veil is going to be lifted for you guys. If you sit back and observe, you're really going to be looking around like, oh, hey, what's going on here? You know, but you're going to realize some things. Okay. But this could also go another way as in you could get caught because there's so much of this Pisces energy happening. You can get caught in the illusions with everybody too. You know what I mean? And take it to an extreme because you guys are Pisces, you know, the energy. So don't get... Don't get taken away with what's like, like the dream world. You know what I mean? Like the veil behind the veil. Okay. You're going to, you're going to be noticing things. Don't, you're going to have to give yourself time to, to get clarified, like to clarify what you're, the information you're getting. So give yourself like two weeks before you react with the information that you're receiving. Right. A lot of people are going to be getting downloads at this time and they don't realize it. Where, um, so let's pull the cards here for the first card we got is the queen of wands. We have the Sun card, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness, you guys. The Emperor, Nine of Wands, and the Four of Swords. And Jupiter, I think it was Jupiter, actually went, uh, Saturn went back direct in, in, in um, Sagittarius, or Jupiter went direct, one of those. I really got to start, I just don't have time to be uh, looking into that stuff right now. I got so much going on. Where, uh, so you guys are co-ruled by Jupiter as well. So you, you'll be getting, like, so that will have some effect on you too, right? So the, I mean, like. A lot what happens with Jupiter, you guys need to keep an eye on because it is your co-ruler. So when those energies shift with Jupiter, they're going to affect you as well. So Saturn being in um, Sagittarius and Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. 
it's going to have some effects and like you're going to get repressed in certain areas as well and burden but you're also going to be uh probably getting some lessons as well they they'll be minor you know what i mean but uh but you're 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 gonna feel um the big shift with jupiter the change that happened astrology wise you're gonna feel that big shift as well you're gonna be pushed um it's weird with you guys i always get like more channeling with with pisces which i, I like i like when i get to pisces <laughs> it's nice and calm cool collective uh and i love all you pisces out there you guys are all fabulous thank you for all your wonderful comments i really do appreciate it um you guys are like you said you're like gabrielle's you know xena and gabrielle's where gabrielle or, or no i didn't say that did i i, I was watching xena and you, well i did say my friend uh petro she's kind of like my um gabrielle uh minus the weird relationship i think it got weird in xena <laughs> like with those two uh for you men it would be like hercules and then the other guy you know what i mean um but you guys are you guys are sassy um and you're quite clever with um because you have jupiter jupiter's a very clever planet right like um you guys uh like gabrielle can talk her way out of anything and talk her way into anything you know what i mean but she's more delicate than xena like xena is like physical you know what i mean like and xena needs gabrielle because gabrielle is sensitive right gabrielle like she's ha she has a pure heart where um and pisces have that pure heart too right like there's purity in pisces pisces is the 12th uh zodic sign uh oh there was a song too i forget what that song is i'll try to post the song there was one that came to me just before the the video and i don't remember the name of it uh i'll have to get the information for that but you guys are like being pushed um into like an adventure uh like with jupiter i'm not probably conveying this right um like uh changes are going to be happening quite frequently frequently for you guys um uh, an expansion right because you're ruled co-ruled with jupiter so you're going to be put into those positions okay and if you fight it the universe is going to get mad at you <laughs> i don't want to say mad at you but the universe is going to constantly um force you into change until you accept it right there has to be an acceptance right like there's free will they're not going to force you into it but they are going to keep um changing the environment to get you onto the path where you need to go because we still have this queen of wands here and this could be for some of you guys it is um somebody that you know right like the sun's beside them could be a leo uh could be sagittarius or aries could be in their chart could even be in your chart right so like you guys have had her for a while now and it's um you know like this i feel like it's you yourselves okay so it's action oriented you are co-ruled by jupiter you do have that energy in you like a sag does to for adventure for curiosity you guys are quite curious you're quite creative you know what i mean um it's just they seem to want you to like i'm getting like you guys uh off like fight and change don't fight the change accept it okay accept the change like uh don't look at things as when they're shifting as a problem look at it at like look for the solution not the problem okay like that's what I'm getting here. Like you, you have to be positive, okay? Because what you think about, you bring about, okay? We have the five of cups here, okay? With the seven of swords. The seven of swords, you're not going to be able to change, all right? I'm telling you that right now. You won't be able to change that. That's going to come in from the universe, okay? Uh, it's coming towards this five of cups, Okay, so you might get dissatisfied, uh, dissatisfying news. Um, it could be from this emperor guy, okay? Uh, the emperor card, I do believe it's in Aries. Uh, this is, I get this, uh, this guy, he comes up as either a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Sag, an Aries, uh, or a libra so you might get this bad news from that one of those signs or a leo it could be a leo as well um okay so you guys you have the five of cups here okay and this is what you guys are 
like okay this is what the universe uh, like I'm you need to be there's positive news coming to you okay there's going to be positive news coming towards you okay but I feel like you guys are expecting like the worst like you guys are expecting like sadness betrayal and like all of this stuff where if you're expecting that it's gonna happen like uh, like I can't be like Pisces you guys are you know you're gentle souls but I'm gonna have to be a sad chair <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my foot down and I'm gonna have to be real with you guys okay like for real here if you get stuck in this five of cups this five of cups is going to be your doing it's not going to be anybody else's doing this is what you're expecting and this is what you're going to cause if it's what you're expecting what you think about you bring about okay so like you could in some cases you could get hurtful news but i don't feel like okay you guys i don't feel like you're going like you're going to get positive news. There's a possibility you're going to like get negative and then you're going to get positive. Like Jupiter is active now, okay? And it's like it's forward moving. So there's going to be balance. Like uh Libra is balance, but Libra is balance outside, all right? Like it's outside. A Libra internally is not balanced at all, okay? A Libra is a, a people por uh pleaser, okay? They they know how to balance the situation outwardly, but it always it's at a cost and it costs them. You know what I mean? Where a Sag is temperance, okay? And they're balanced inwardly, okay? They can look chaotic sometimes to other people. And, you know, they're, like, very expansive and, you know, quick movers. they like, uh, trying new things or whatever. But they're balanced inward. So they look, sometimes they look balanced outwardly. But the inwardly, they're balanced because they don't, the outside has no effect on them, right? They know that this here is a vessel, right? Like, your vessel it doesn't matter what's happening outwardly as long as your vessel is stern, all right? Like, you're like a tree. Those roots got to be deep in the ground so you're firm. So when somebody pushes you, you don't budge. You don't push back. You're, you're a tree. Your roots are firm. You know what I mean? You're going to have to get that sense in you guys where uh, the outside influences aren't going to be able to affect you. You know what I mean? That could be hard for you guys, okay? This five of cups, though, like I said, we have this energy coming right now. Okay, Pisces, you can get, this is what I'm saying, you can get trapped in this. Okay, like, so you need to be in this energy, positive. Okay, you need to observe what's happening around you. Because this is, like, I'm per there's going to be things revealed. You're going to get downloads of information as well, for, like, this is when things like especially for people that are pisces are going to be getting the downloads of information they're or strong pisces placements but they're going to be getting um like there's like i said two ways you can go okay the pisces energy when it's to the like when it's at its positive it sees beyond the veil okay so if like you stand back observe okay you can see beyond the veil you'll get the downloads you'll you'll see things uh around you that are happening in other people's lives uh, you'll see the negative, you know, like the, the truth will come out in those situations. Or you can get caught up in the illusion, in the, the magic, in the mystical uh, world, and you'll be unclear, you know, like you'll attract the sadness, right? Like, because you'll be thinking the things you're hearing are actually true when they're not, where, because you're like, you're so stuck up in the, you know, out of the ether, <laughs> like, where, um, so you need to be very calm, cool, and collective. You got uh, the Four of Swords here, right? This is a rest, a pause mode. It's kind of like the herm, or not the hermit, the um, the hangman energy I'm getting, which is like the the pause mode, right? Let's pull the other cards. We got the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands. The King of Swords, I like that guy. The Ten of Swords. Ooh. The Three of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the Six of uh, Swords. You guys, again, there's the chance you can get stuck in your head, okay? Be careful with that. Um, okay, the Seven of Swords. 
situation with the Ten of Swords on top of it, there's nothing you guys are going to be able to do about it, okay? So you got to allow whatever this is that comes in. And I'm not allowed to interfere with free will. So, like, I don't tune into these energies because that's not... Um, we all have lessons in life to learn. And there are certain things that we're not supposed to interfere with, right? Like Because that can deter a person off their path. And it can also cause them to repeat the same lesson because they haven't learned on their own. It's like... A child touching the stove you know like they or a hot pot you know at some point a child has touched something hot when they were told not to touch it because it was hot they still had to go do it you know what i mean like so and there's also the sense if i say not to do something you guys are like that puts the seed in your mind so like there's some things um and because i where my pisces sits too like i'm not like I'm not allowed to do certain things, you know what I mean? Like, there's there's restrictions on me. Pisces have an insurance policy on them, man. Like, it, you guys, with being a Pisces, you can have, like, it's a completion in life. It's like, they say when you're a Pisces that you eventually get everything you want. Like, you will get it. But there is that insurance policy on you, like, where if the energies aren't harnessed correctly or used properly or you, like, um, you can't... Um, you can't get firm or act from the, the, and it goes for all signs, acting from the positive vibration of the sign, then like the insurance policy on a, um, a Pisces kicks in, like it kicks in and the, they kind of like withhold a little bit. It kind of sucks being like, but Pisces are, it's, you guys are the, like the best sign. I got to figure out that what that song's called. It's still playing in my mind and it does have to do with, um, the lyrics in it even is a, uh, about being a Pisces, uh, something to do with Aquarius too. Um, I think there's some importance in that for you guys because it's playing through my mind. But there's nothing you're going to be able to do about this, you guys. Okay, it's a betrayal. Okay, and I'm not going to lie. Okay, for some of you guys, we got this Emperor with three here, and this like this could be somebody with children is more focused on their children right now but you got to be careful of somebody trying to sneak around you okay like you, like jupiter is a cunning energy so you guys have the energy to be cunning you so you're gonna have to play the fool the fool the fool is what it's saying okay the six of cups here you guys i don't feel like this is reminiscing reminiscing on the past the six of cups i feel like is going it for some of you guys it could be uh the queen of wands she's going to give you a gift in some sort uh you do have somebody, like, I feel like uh, the six, well, I do feel like you guys are going to be getting gifts, okay? And, like, I don't mean, like, or, like, winning a lot. You could buy a lottery ticket and win, like, ten bucks off of a dollar ticket or something like that. You Small, small gifts. Uh, a friend or somebody could be giving you, like, small, a small gift, right? Um I feel like there's going to be a lot of little, 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 um, equal exchanges. You know what I mean? You could be out with your friends. Uh, like I'll give you an example. I went out with, um, my mom and my sister and, uh, it's weird because my sister or my mom, when like something's a certain price, they don't want to buy it for themselves. You know? So my mom was like buying the thing that my sister wanted and I was buying the, the thing that my mom wanted. And then like they would buy me the thing that I wanted, but I didn't want to buy them for myself because it was too much. So we were all doing that for each other. It's so weird that we were doing that. But like, I thought it was hysterical, you know, where it was like, why don't we just buy what we want? You know what I mean? Like we couldn't, we couldn't, it was like too much money. We can't spend that much on ourselves, but we could justify it by spending it for somebody else, you know, like, so you guys like, like. You might need to, like, it's the same thing. People could be giving you gifts is what I'm getting. And we got three three here. This is spiritual. Like, I always get uh, spirits trying to talk to you. Uh, and for you guys, like, we're going back to the Queen of Wands energy. You got to take her on. You have that energy in you. You have Jupiter in you, all right? Like, you got to be more... Um, it was like I was talking about the tree. You got to be firm, very firm, okay? Don't let people push you around or take advantage of you. You know what I mean? Like, but this, like, he observes, all right? Like, this is control. You got to take back your power, take control, you know? Like, you got to, you got to understand that the outside circumstances don't dictate who you are or where you're going or what you're going to do, okay? Like, so if somebody's trying to get the power over you and they're trying to leave you hanging, like, like, you don't have 
any deciding factor, well, I hate to break it to you guys, but you're really the one with the power because when you try to take somebody, when you try to take somebody's power, you're really the one um, with the power. They're giving you like the person who's taking your power is actually giving you their power. Okay, they're doing it because they're trying to be controlling and get the outcome that they want. Okay, like so they think they have power. That is an illusion. Okay, because now you're the one left with the deciding factor. Okay, they try to manipulate the situation all they like they can do it all they want, but then like you might be the one sitting there twiddling your thumbs, waiting and unsure and unclear, and you're the one with the power. You decide. You decide whether you're going to tolerate it or not. You could just be like, well, okay, you know what? Enough is enough, and then walk away. You don't have to tolerate it. You're the one who decides. If a person's like leaving you hanging, you know, thinking it's 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 funny or like that they can come back in and out as they please, well, no, you have the power to decide that. You decide whether or not they, they do that. You know, like you have the control to do that, okay? Like you're going to be given, like for some of you, you're going to be given... It could be a new work opportunity. There's travel here too, you guys. You could have a traveling opportunity as well. But what I'm getting mainly is you guys, you need to go inwards, okay? We really need to focus, like, you need to focus on yourselves. Uh, get near water. Um, water's really good for you guys. It'll, it'll cause also, like, um, a barrier for you guys because you're a water sign you're, and you're Pisces, so you're very... Um, very intuitive uh, and you can see behind the veil but the thing is like if you don't recharge that energy and water has energy in it it has electrodes in it and the electrodes only get activated when salt goes in it salt acts as the conductor and it can actually create an arc all right so there's electrons in water it which is electricity it just it doesn't get used though people make um, can make uh, little lamps renewable like little lamps uh, they do it like I believe in um, the Philippines and Taiwan, they're working like on making little lamps that can last about an hour with just water and salt. Uh, but that just shows you the power like of, of what water has, right? The energy, the conductor in it, the salt acts as the conductor. So take salt baths because it could, like with all of the Pisces um, energies that are happening right now, um, it'll, it'll act as a barrier uh, to, to give you a clear, um, a clear channel through right like because you're gonna you're gonna there's all that like static noise okay like jupiter um jupiter is a planet of energy a lot of people don't realize that if you study jupiter it's like uh it takes all like radio waves and stuff like that it actually takes like electrons from the sun as well uh but if you tune into an am station um on one of the other frequencies you can actually hear jupiter like that's how strong its um magnetic uh frequency is uh, like it, it has to do with energy. So you guys being a cold ruler with Jupiter, you're very sensitive towards energy. Mix that with water and Pisces. That's why you guys are so like, you're so able to be in tune with behind the veil, right? But you, like you have, I'm like getting a lot of static around you. There's a lot of static like around you. So this could mean that either psychically you're being attacked. Uh, people are trying to feed into your energy or, or, um, or people are draining your, your energy. Um, but with all the events happening right now, like you need to protect your, your field of energy. So getting your water, uh, a salt bath will, will, um, get the, uh, I'm getting like the, the frequency, uh, clear for you guys. I get really weird messages for you guys. It's more channeling with you guys than anything. I do have a Jupiter, uh, a, my Jupiter's in Capricorn, so like Capric Capricorns, I find can, well, at least for me, because I guess my where my Jupiter is, um, they channel for me. Uh, okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. So again, you guys, this is talking about illusions, okay? Uh, with this energy, you got to be careful. Don't be going out drinking um, substances, you know, whatever the substance is. You got to be very careful, okay? Uh, this energy that's going to be playing out for the next week and a half or two weeks here is going to really it could get you off balance, okay? So you just need to realize that it's the energies around you, okay? So it's not you, it's the energies around you. So you got to be meditating, reading books to calm you down, but definitely salt baths are really good for you guys. Yeah, a new work opportunity could be coming. So put your resumes out there. Uh, it could be something you're not used to, a risk here. 
I could it's it's something that um you might not you might not have ever like done before or something apply for, like apply for something that you might not have uh you maybe you have five out of like the seven um or eight uh qualifications that they want but um so you're like self-doubting yourself but it, like you have five out of the eight you can learn the other three when you go right like everything in life is about learning right so like you like just because you don't have all of the qualifications doesn't mean that you shouldn't apply for it you have five out of the eight you can learn uh the other three you know what i mean like life is about taking chances learning knowledge and you guys are co-ruled by jupiter so that there's importance of you guys being able to expand if you're being restricted then you're enter you're going to get off balance and you're going to start getting in on an illusional um dreamy phase you know like start like daydreaming and stuff we've got to watch that some of you guys could get messages through your daydreaming too okay so it's very important that your body's cleansed to get these proper messages to come through that you're very focused and grounded uh, you got to be very firm, you guys. We got the emperor here. Like, is like you got to be firm in your power. You know what I mean? Gabrielle kicks ass, man. <laughs> and why? Like, you guys kind of like are Gabrielle is because like Gab Gabrielle is very um, she's very sassy. Uh, like, she, like she talk her way into in and out of everything. But like, she's very um, delicate. You know, Pisces is the the delicate version with Jupiter. Jupiter is a very masculine sign, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like where Pisces gets the more feminine aspect of, um, Jupiter, like, you know, where Gabrielle is very feminine, you know, where Xena is very masculine, you know what I mean? Get in tune with your feminine side too. Like even you men, some of you men could be coming off as too controlling, right? Uh, when I, this guy, like, you, you guys got to be careful about drinking. I do see that. Okay, you're going to get clarity on any sadness that you have, all right? Like, everything that's happening, Pisces, is to happen to get you to where you need to go, okay? So, Yeah, you guys got to observe, like, this card always comes up when somebody's spying, too. But this is, like, this is, like, saying to me, um, what I'm getting is you got to observe, okay? Uh, we have the uh, Nine of Wands with the six, the six of Swords, the Four of Swords. So, yeah, what I'm getting is that you guys have to, you have to observe. This is a time for observing, but you need to be very, very calm, cool, and collective, okay? By the next month, July, you should, um, you might have been revealed some things that can, by then, will push you forward. I'm feeling like July is going to be a very positive month for you guys. All right, you guys, that's all I have for now, and um, I'll talk to you next month. Ciao for now.